Leaders from the East African Regional Black Intergovernmental Authority on Development, or IGAD, have agreed to deploy troops to South Sudan by mid-April to help enforce a ceasefire deal between the government and opposition forces. The United States Ambassador to South Sudan, Susan Page, told viewers John Tanza that the U.S. is assisting with peace efforts. However, Ambassador Page said she is concerned by South Sudan's repression of the media. The Minister of Information has publicly threatened journalists, uh, including for reporting on uh, media just simply interviewing the, uh, the rebels who are participating in the talks in Addis Ababa. One of the Voice of America journalists was also detained uh, for several hours. This does no good for the image of South Sudan. It's important that they uphold their own constitution, which does guarantee free, free press and free speech. Newspapers have been shut down. Uh, we abhor the, the pre-publication censorship, and it would behoove the government of South Sudan to allow media to publicly uh, uh, speak as well as to gather freely to express themselves. Well, that was an excerpt from a wide-ranging interview with Susan Page, United States Ambassador to South Sudan. She was commenting on the country's clampdown on media and journalists. Next week, we'll bring you more of the interview conducted by John Tanza of VOS radio program South Sudan in Focus.